Well, a St. Jude doctor is helping save the lives of young cancer patients from Ukraine and is back from working on the ground in Poland. Rebecca Butcher has a story of her determination to help. Answering the call. When the war started, our partners in Ukraine um, asked for help initially evacuating a few patients that could no longer be treated in Ukraine because of supply chain limitations and safety concerns. To help the littlest patients. And one of the things I love about being a pediatrician is that children are really resilient and they're medically resilient, but they're also resilient to these stressors in a way that I think adults sometimes aren't. And so in the end, they're just kids. They want to play. They want to watch movies. Dr. Asya Agolnek, director of Eurasia Regional Program and the Global Critical Care Program with St. Jude's Children's Hospital, says the program Safe for Ukraine has helped hundreds of patients since the start of the war in that country. Four families have since arrived in Memphis this week for treatment. It's those individual people who are doing this work, who feel the humanity of each one of these patients who, you know, the family's got a cancer diagnosis. That's already life changing. And now they have to deal with evacuating from a war. Fleeing their home, in some cases leaving male relatives behind who have been ordered to stay. Safe for Ukraine is working with a network of partner organizations in western Ukraine with Polish care physicians and medical centers throughout Europe. St. Jude is one link in the chain helping kids with cancer and other blood disorders reach not only physical safety but receive quality cancer care. How has this reinforced your your mission to, to treat and help kids and save lives? To be able to assure that for these really very, very vulnerable children, vulnerable in any situation, certainly more vulnerable because of the war, has been really amazing to be a part of. It's certainly challenging, but it's also extremely rewarding. Giving a child an opportunity to lead a full life. It's been really an honor to be able to provide that hope, that possibility of a future that they didn't have if they had stayed. In Memphis, I'm Rebecca Butcher.